All right, in this video, I'm gonna do a deep dive part two into Flare Networks, mainly focusing on the initial people that funded the uh, funded Flare from the beginning. So these are the initial funders of Flare. We have uh, Charlie Lee, founder and CEO of Litecoin, affiliated with Coinbase in the past. Um, du Quan, it's the Terra CEO, and then we have LD Capital, C Fund, Way Financial Group. Borderless Capital, Backend Capital, Kinetic Capital, Digital Currency Group, Grayscale, Newform Capital, DeFi Capital, ZB.com, and Genesis Capital. And there are a few other honorable mentions, too, associated to these venture capital firms, too. Uh, so we're going to go next. As you can see, these are the same people here I just talked about. And see, there's some of the companies uh, featuring Flare. We got... Uh, Coinbase and Ripple and uh, many more here. You can see the pretty big amounts here. All right, so we're going to get started off with Charlie Lee. So Charlie Lee is the creator of Litecoin in 2011. He was one of the original, he worked with some of the original cryptographers back then. And uh, Litecoin has a current market cap of $7.6 and Charlie has a net worth of around $20 billion. So he was an employee at Google um, before he worked at Coinbase, and he worked on YouTube, mobile, uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, you know, operating system, and also uh, the Google Play Store games. And he spent four years at Coinbase in 2013 to 2017. Um, he was an engineering manager and director of engineering at Coinbase, so you know he knows uh, Brian Armstrong and... A lot of the main guys, you know, behind crypto. And back then, I kind of it was kind of funny. The Bitcoin price was under a hundred dollars when he was buying in, you know. And uh, I actually remember those days. I had a friend of Bitcoin in 2013, but I didn't understand the business aspect of it. I just knew about the mining, and I just didn't understand it. And I just was focused on other things back then. So, and also there was a he was actually went to the Warren Buffett meeting. Uh, they had a lunch I think, a couple years ago. Justin's son invited them. So they were just all friends, you know. These All these billionaire guys are all friends. It's a real small crypto circle. And you know Warren Buffett, when he started calling Bitcoin rat poison, you know his company was buying because uh, BlackRock, he, he owns BlackRock, and BlackRock owns a piece of SBI Holdings, and they own XRP, and... You know, they're a big crypto company. So, I mean, the connections go on and on. And then we got Duquan, um, founder of Terra Luna, and its total market cap of $31 billion right now. And he said in one of his uh, CNBC uh, interviews, he said that Korea is going to run on Terra. It's kind of neat because there are two Terra coins in the top uh, top 20, I think, right now. And even Coinbase invested in Terra Stablecoin, and they raised $32 million from uh, Binance, a Michael Erickson, XRP, they own, they own Nexo, and then Polychain Capital, and uh, also the Korean ticketing giant and travel service, Yanalaja. And let's go next. And these are some of the venture capital firms that... Uh, and the early investors in Flare, these are the guys that gave money to Flare to start. And they want they want their ROI, you know. <laughs> so LD Capital, let's get started with LD Capital. Uh, redefine a better world with digital economy. Uh, wide deal researching channels with global VC partners in Asia, EU, and the U.S. They're early investors and since 2016 in Ethereum, Avalanche, KuCoin Token, Algo, VeChain, Aave, and many, many more. And um, they're actually one of Asia's earliest and largest venture capitals focused on investing in the blockchain field. They're worth more, they have more than a hundred million portfolio right now. Then we got C Fund. What is C Fund? It's a early stage agnostic venture firm in the blockchain industry managed by Wave Financial. Uh, basically, they're really big on Cardano. So it won't surprise me if we see. Flare Cardano, you know, in the future. 
they've been trying to put smart contracts from, on the Cardano for a while, and it just hasn't worked. And uh, maybe Flair is the answer for that. Who knows? The Charles Constance, Charles Hoskinson, and this is a uh, Charles Hoskinson. You know, is the founder and CEO of Cardano, and he's they're early, so early investors, and uh, they have 900 million in assets. And I thought it was funny because Flair's on their front page. People are in the, in the Flair Telegram right now are saying, Songbird's going to zero, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, these companies are still have it on their front page, man. So, All right, then we got Wave Financial. You know, as you, as seen on Forbes, Bloomberg, CNBC, Wall Street Journal, Barron's, Coindesk, Institutional Investor, Cointelegraph. They have a billion plus crypto portfolio. They're early investors at Ethereum, Tezos, XLM. Former CEO, I thought that was funny. Um, former CEO of Merrill Lynch, Asia, you know, works there. And uh, they're also really big into NFTs. They're early NFT investors. wonder how many crypto punks these guys have. Um, then we got Borderless Capital. Uh, Borderless is a blockchain venture capital firm and a modern financial institution investing in capital and co-building financial products with our portfolio companies, Accelerates Access, Bootstraps Adoption, and Creates Value Globally. Through the Algorand Borderless Economy. So these guys have big ties to Algorand. Um, and yeah, they're, they have $200 million in assets right now in the portfolio. And they're using mainly using the Algorand uh, network. And they've invested in 37 companies globally, globally and their blockchain-focused VC firm from Boston. And they've been they found they got founded in 2018 in the crypto bear market. And so everybody was saying Bitcoin's going to zero, you know, <laughs> like oh I won't touch Bitcoin. Blah, blah, blah. That was do what they what do they I like what Digital Asset Investor says. He says do what they do, not what they say. Continuing. And we got on the next one. These are all guys that put money in Flare for the beginning, by the way. So now we got back in capital. Back in capital was founded in 2019, also in the bear market is. It's an early stage fund focused on investing in brilliant engineers. I found this funny 27 year old Lucy Gua is the co founder of Back in Capital and Scale AI. And Scale AI is her company, and she's worth 7.3 billion. And uh, Back in Capital's. Uh, her, her main, uh, her, you know, she's a CEO. So they focus on fintech, machine learning. I found this funny. AI, we talked about that in the last video with Flair. They have a lot of guys um, that have experience with AI. We got data science and invest. So they're going to the next fund. Kinetic Capital, uh, founded in 2016 in Hong Kong. Uh, Kinetic is a proprietary trading and VC firm focused focused on real digital assets and blockchain related companies. And Jihan Chu is the CEO, uh, early investor in crypto since 2013. You, you know, remember Bitcoin was $100 back then. Ripple was half a cent or less. Yeah, he's the he co-founded KC with uh, other people. His I think that's his brother Lawrence Chu and David Wills. And they have a nine billion plus crypto portfolio right now. Really big in China. Um, digital currency group. Um, digital currency group is a VC company focused on the digital currency market. They're headquartered in Stamford, Connecticut, and uh, they have a fifty billion dollar portfolio. And then we have Barry Silbert, I'm CEO, and worth three point two billion dollars. And um, I'm going to go on and on. We're going to probably make a part three here because I don't want this video to be super long. So, Yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, you can see all these companies really believe in Flare. They have Flare listed alongside their main portfolio assets. And um, some interesting stuff going on. All right, thanks for watching.